Hello and welcome to another edition of Sunshine Plus, a program sponsored by the Ondo State Government. I am Dakbo Arua Joy. Today on the program, Ondo State Governor Arakunri Oluwarotimi Akere Dolu SAN has flagged off year 2019 agricultural season for farmers in the state at Mariwo, a farm settlement in the federal local government area of the state, where he reassured farmers of friendly and encouraging policies. And on those state government is battle ready to fight the Lassa fever disease in the state as NDDC, that is the Niger Delta Development Commission, has donated three ambulances and medical consumables to the state. Also on the program, it's another good news as the exploration of the large deposit of bitumen in Nondo State will soon start. Already, an indigenous company, Southwest Bitumen, has secured a 25-year renewable operational mining license across a landmass of about 14,800 hectares in the southern part of the state. And our first report is on another planting season. And to encourage farmers in the state, Arakuri Oluwarotimi Akere Dolu has distributed free of charge 15,000 hybrid cocoa seedlings to 600 farmers and 400 kg of maize to 200 farmers, where 400 kg of rice paddy were so distributed to 80 farmers and 500 bundles of cassava cuttings were distributed to 100 farmers at Mariwo, a farm settlement in the Fedore local government area of the state. Enjoy the report. The rains are here again, and it's yet another farming season. The period when farmers till plant and wait to reap a bountiful harvest. As part of his commitment to move agriculture forward and at the same time ensure food availability to the citizens of the Sunshine State, the governor, Arakunri Oluwarotimi Akere Dolu, SAN, paid a visit to Mariwo a farm settlement in Ifedore local government area of the state to flag off the year 2019 agricultural season for farmers in the state. You flagged off planting season is an annual event. We have farmers are gathered together for the purpose of sensitizing them about the beginning of the new planting season. This event is surely carried out as soon as we become steady in the year. This occasion is unique as farmers across the state are educated on modern agronomic practices and opposed to sources of improved practices, materials, and other agricultural peoples that we boost their production. This year, a lot of trend of play for this year, I call for great generation of our farmers, particularly early crop farmers, to avoid waste of their mega resources. I'm particularly delighted to welcome Mr. Governor, who is later going to unveil the year 2019 agricultural session. For farmers in the state as part of Scott plan to move agriculture forward in the state. Your pivotal role in ensuring food availability to citizens of our sunshine is most appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, permit to give kudos to our American governor who are doing fit to approve that improved planting materials should be given to some select small water farmers and used as encouragement for them to start up their farms. This year's event is the second of its kind since the administration of Akere Dulu came on board. While addressing the elated farmers, Arakun restated that despite the meager resources accruable to the state, his administration has and will always initiate policies and programs to assist farmers and for the purpose of generating employment. He assured the farmers that government policies would always be targeted at increased production of the major agricultural resources. Mm 
o se pataki fun gbogbo eda awa yoba na lo lo to po ka ma so pe ta wa ti yo wo ebi ku o nbe ise se kire o o ku se o se ise agbe nsi o di ko ja pe awon to nse o je ta ma je lo nikan o tori le de wa ta ba fe koro aje wa ko gbe ko gbe pe li die si ise agbe ni pa to ma ku nbe ipa en gan de se pataki mo de ba bo pe ba ti se ajo yo bayi ni ododun o mu afani wa a de ma se lo i see this opportunity to say thank you very much sir because you don't want us to go hungry and uh, you will not go hungry in the very yeah. 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 15,000 hybrid cocoa seedlings were given to 600 farmers at 250 seedlings each, while 400 kilograms of maize for 200 farmers at 2 kilograms each, 400 kilograms of rice paddy for 80 farmers at 5 kilograms each, 500 bundles of cassava cuttings for 100 farmers at 5 bundles each. All these were given free of charge to farmers across the state so as to boost agriculture development. I hereby express my profound gratitude to Ondo State Government and to Mr. Rakumi Akredolu in particular for this privilege. And I promise to make use of the privilege to, to uh, an extent whereby uh, I will improve my product productivity in my farm and be a, a sort of model to other farmers. At Modupa ni owa olorun, Odupa lowo ijoba ara kunrin akredolu. San to se se takun takun ise ribiti to se ni Moriwo farm settlement. To ba wa sise lati le gbe ege, to gbe gi ege fun wa, ege to ta to ta ribiti ribiti, o gbe fun wa, o tun ran wa lowo o tun fun ara ni iso fo wo so popo ta ti ba wa sise yi we were here to flag of uh, the planting season uh, and because of the rain, this uh, is supposed to have taken place don before now but we just make it that to be symbolic because we had to gather most farmer all farmers from all the states uh, farmers who are in cocoa planting those in rice those in maize those in cassava so every other one so that We, we we more or less a flag of the planting season and give them seedlings hybrid seedlings for them to use the governor then practiced what he preaches <laughs> As part of his recognition to agricultural development, Governor Akere Dulu was presented an award from Nigeria Incentive Based Risk Sharing for Agricultural Lending (NISRAL) for being the champion of smallholder agriculture state government in the southern region of Nigeria. Under the Commercial Agricultural Credit Scheme (CACs), the Ondo State Government has accessed a 2 billion naira loan for land clearing, youth empowerment, and other agricultural development projects. This will complement other efforts of the administration in the area of agriculture, like the establishment of modern agricultural village at Jubere, our local government area. where 500 farmers will be engaged on the 4 hectares of cocoa plantation each distribution of 500,000 cocoa and 250,000 cashew seedlings to farmers to further boost cocoa and cashew production in the states 
and soon there will be distribution of additional 100,000 cocoa seedlings for year 2019 planting season. In collaboration with the federal government on National Egg Production Scheme, with 64,000 layers, 32 Ondo farmers are currently participating in the scheme. Engagement of 18,000 youths to pilot the Youths on Ridges program. Training of over 2,500 youths on cassava value addition by OSAEC. Provision of credit facilities for youths and women under FADAMA 3 additional financing program. Also, the state partnered foreign and private investors such as Coca Set Nigerian Limited on sugar production, Dawn Commission and Dangote Groups on rice production, NMPC on the cassava ethanol project at Okeluse. Establishment of paper mill and ethanol industry, both at the Ondolin Industrial Hub at Ore, where about 300 to 400 tons of cassava will be needed daily for processing and manufacturing. <laughs> Perpetual Iboba for Sunshine Plus. You're still watching Sunshine Plus. In order to assist Ondo State Government fight the deadly Lassa fever disease in the state, the Niger Delta Development Commission has donated three ambulances and medical consumables to the state. The Akiredolu government has been confronting this deadly disease with all it can, but now the government is more than ready to battle the monster called Lassa fever. Lassa fever is an endemic disease that has been ravaging some states in Nigeria for a while now, and on those states has had its own casualties. The state government has been confronting this deadly disease with all it can, but now the government is more than ready to battle the monster called Lassa fever. This brand new factory built ambulances and medical consumables are some of the latest necessities which will aid the Oluwarotimi Akiredolu led government to intensify the fight against Lassa fever disease in the state. The medical items, including the three ambulances, were donated by the Niger Delta Development Commission NDDC under the Elder Niger Delta Initiative of the Commission. The items were received on behalf of the state government by the Commissioner for Health, Dr. Wahab Adigbinru. While appreciating the NDDC for the kind gesture, the Commissioner said that the fact that the cost of treating a Lassa fever patient is as high as 1.6 million naira necessitated that the state sought help from agencies. Dr. Adigbin Ru added that donation will assist the government to continue to fight Lassa fever in the state. We usually experience the outbreak uh, uh, during this uh, dry season. But when the rains come, then you know, the green leaves will appear again and these rats and rodents will have a lot of things to feed upon in the bush. But when the when dry season comes and the leaves are dried up and so on, they, come, they tend to come to homes, especially dirty environment, to look for food to feed on. So that's why we have a lot of them. And, and you know, these uh, uh, rats and rodents are the carriers of the virus. Incidentally, the disease does not kill them. They harbor the virus and they will continue to transmit it from uh, place to place. So that's why the fight against uh, Lassa is a serious one because if to say the rats are killed by the virus, then their power to transmit the infection will have gone down. But because the, the virus incidentally doesn't kill them, so they continue to transmit it from uh, one place to another. So that's why the battle is a serious one. We are very grateful to the Niger Delta Development Commission for this uh, uh, uncommon fever. So uh, we are hoping that uh, maybe like old Vibe Twist, they will still continue to support us in our drive to make Ondo State better. 
and in our drive to make everybody in Ondo State healthy. The Ondo State Coordinator of Niger Delta Development Commission, Honorable Lucky Aye Datiwa, stated that when the state recorded an outbreak of Lassa fever a few months ago, the governor made a call to the commission for support. He added that the commission decided to heed the governor's call because of his passion and commitment to issues that affect the people of the state. Medically, we've come to realize that it, it costs so much to treat a case of Lassa fever up to the tune of 1.6 million for a single case. So not for, in order to avoid, to prevent the spread of Lassa fever and to also make a rapid response to treatment, he called on NDDC for support. And NDDC, like I said, we are not just involved in infrastructural development like roads and uh, 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 construction, but we also engage in programs for total well-being of the people of Niger Delta region. And this program that is tagged Lock Out Lesser Fever out of Ondo State is one of such programs that was handled by the uh, Directorate Education, Health and Social Services to support Ondo State in locking out Lesser Fever from the state. We engaged in awareness, a preventive measure by creating awareness and sensitization program across the 18 local government so that the people can be aware of Lassa fever and how to prevent the spread. That was done across the 18 local government. That is a preventive measure. And we've also gone ahead to donate some medical assets and consumables, like three ambulances, and some other consumable that could be used for the treatment and also for in order to convey people that are infected from where they are to the medical center where they could get first hand treatment. So that is what NDDC have done for Ondo State. Although the Ondo State government is presently doing all it can to eradicate the deadly Lassa fever, which is an acute viral hemorrhagic illness transmitted to humans through contacts with food or household items contaminated by infected rodents. However, the citizenry have been advised to take preventive measures such as ensuring that no food, cooking utensils and drinking water is exposed to rodents since the urine and body fluid of rodents are the key things which cause Lassa fever transmission. Other efforts to control rat populations include clearing of bushes and gutter around the buildings, avoid using rats as food sources, avoid close contact with individuals who exhibit symptoms such as fever with low response to treatment because person-to-person -person transmission can also occur. Lastly and most importantly, alert the health workers. Adeola Adeniyi for Sunshine Plus. Our last report on Sunshine Plus is another good news because arrangements are in top gear to kickstart the exploration of the large deposit of bitumen in Nondo State by an indigenous company, Southwest Bitumen. SWB. The managing director of the company disclosed during a working visit to Governor Akiridolu of recent that construction of a befitting operational base for the company would be completed within three months. Ondo State is reputed to have the second largest bitumen deposit in the world and the largest in Africa with over 42 billion reserves of the highest quality. It is also a fact that bitumen reserve in Nondo State can serve the whole of Africa. While experts have emphasized that the mineral has the potential of overtaking crude oil as Nigeria's highest revenue earner, loaded also with the promise to rapidly transform the economic fortunes of the country. 
Unfortunately, Nigeria still imports over 600,000 tons of asphalt per annum, and the nation spends billions of naira on importation of asphalt every year. Armed with these realities, since he resumed office, the governor of Ondo State, Arakuri Oluwarotimi Akiridulu S.A.N., had made relentless efforts to attract the attention of world-class firms to the natural endowment available in the state. And I was convinced that in our time, now that I have opportunity of becoming governor of this state, that we will have exploitation of our bitumen for the use of our people. This, I believe, is on course. As of now, I can assure you, we have shipped over uh, not the company that is interested in, in, in uh, running a bitumen. I shipped uh, several tons of bitumen from, as you know, bitumen spreads across about four of our local government. Is in really Odibo, is there also in uh, Okichupa, you know, and Eseodo. So those four places have bitumen belt. And we have to take it, the company has taken it to Germany. We are, have assurance now that our bitumen have commercial value. Evidently, it is now clear that the Akire Dulu administration means business about improving the fortunes of the state through its bitumen deposits. Arrangements are in top gear to kickstart the exploration of the large deposit of bitumen in Nondo State by an indigenous company, Southwest Bitumen, SWB, which has secured a 25-year renewable operational mining license across a landmass of about 14,800 hectares in the southern part of the Sunshine State. Speaking during a walking visit to Governor Akiridulu, the managing director of Southwest Bitumen Company, engineer Akin Odumakinde, disclosed that construction of a befitting operational base for the company would be completed within the next three months. Uh, Southwest Bitumen is a company that is uh, licensed uh, to uh, explore and mine bitumen in Ondo State. So we came here to tell the governor that we have acquired our mining licenses and uh, the mining licenses will span for 25 years and these licenses were issued by the Federal Ministry of Mines and uh, the state by law has to now uh, work with us in the acquisition of the land for the mining area. We're ready now to start operation in, at the pilot stage. At, uh, we've acquired uh, some of the lands within the uh, bitumen belt where our licenses are covered. And we have today 14 hectares already purchased and a CO4 has been issued for those 14 hectares. And um, we are now going to start with our operational base, uh, which within the next three months should be ready. And uh, there, our equipment are here and we'll be ready to start uh, mining. Responding, Governor Akere Dolu commended the company for its effort towards ensuring the realization of the untapped product in the state. Oh, no. state Beaches, not from the state as such. But because the CEO is from Ondo State, and he has shown tremendous interest in wanting to do that, this exploration and this mining for the division. I know that uh, he has refused to let us know, and there is no necessity for the press. But I can assure you, what has gone into this is millions of dollars. It's not, it's not uh, just uh, typical. Not payment. It's not not even I am saying millions of dollars and more of it thus far where we are and the commitment from an individual or from a group of company not borrowing. It is something that is is worth commending. I want to thank you again for that for uh, for this I know that uh, we are looking forward to at least I remember when you said it and I mentioned to uh, 
clarify me and say that whatever I want to do, you must bring the president there. Yes. When you are ready. As soon as you are ready, the president must come to us. These Nigerians have been waiting for this for many years. This is a great truth. He also said on completion, several persons would be employed from the host communities in the Southern Senatorial District and the entire state. We're going to have a lot of artisans working with us in the range of 100 to 200 when we start active uh, excavation and, and mining. And then when we now develop into industry, it will develop into so many thousands of projects, I mean, peer, uh, of uh, work uh, jobs at that point. Arakuna Kiredolu also acknowledged the former Minister of Mines and Steel Development and now the Governor of Ekiti, Dr. Kayo Defayemi, for his immeasurable interest at granting the license to the company. We must also, and I'm sure that several people must, must also admit this fact, we must thank Governor Kayo Defayemi because he was keen, he was interested, he was one that facilitated all this as minister. Yes. Yeah, look, that in no state was we there are more desperation. The time has come. At the inception of his administration, the governor had stated that the bitumen project is close to his heart, adding that the product which the state has in large abundance would not only be harnessed, but also bring about the desired change to the economic fortunes of the state and the nation in general. Dakbo, Arua Joy for Sunshine Plus. That's all we can take on this edition. Don't forget to join us same time next week on same station. Till then, I am Dakwo, Arua Joy. Bye for now and God bless the Sunshine State.